to Tech Tuesday, presented by Delta Media Group, where it started snowing. It started snowing here this year. Um, every year, it starts snowing just about the same time, and when it does, we all look at each other and we say, I can't believe it's snowing already, when really it, it starts snowing about the same time every year. But it started snowing. It has started snowing for the, for the season here. That's exciting. So today, we are going to take a look at the email usage and history interface page in the DeltaNet. Uh, what this page allows you to do is view your last six months of overall email usage to kind of help you choose which email subscription plan will work best for you, and then allows you to also select that plan. So first off, to get to the page, um, now if your email usage is not being covered by your company and you are at a company where the email usage has been instituted, so um, that you subscribe to an email usage plan, then this page will be visible to you. Um, depending on what your usage has been so far, there may be a variety of ways to get to this page. So you may see a, uh, a subscription selection box that shows you your current usage when you go to pages that send out any mass emails. So for example, if I went to marketing, there we go, and went down to my message blasts page, or my email blast page, there could be a message here that indicates what my subscription is, what my usage has been so far, and that may also have a link to this page. However, regardless of whether any of those things are set up or showing up for you, you can get to the usage page by just clicking on your settings gear up here at the top right, and then you'll see an email package page, or an email package tile, right here on this page. So if we click on that, that takes us to our email package selection and usage page. So up here at the top, we have the different email packages that are available to you. Um, now if you don't send more than a thousand emails in a month, then it doesn't cost you anything, and you can just stick with this free package. What you would do is, in case you did go over that, it can automatically continue to send your email and it will just bill you for $5 per additional 1,000 emails that it sends. And you can see it says here, five per additional 1,000 emails. Um, now that rate gets lower and more emails are included when you choose from the other packages, but it only makes sense if you do send enough email to warrant those other packages. So for the vast majority of those out there, the free package is enough, and you'll almost never go over the 1,000. Um, that said, if we scroll down a little bit and you're curious about where you normally come in in a month, it gives you some information here about how many contacts you have, so you can just kind of get a baseline idea there. And then down here at the bottom, it actually shows you your email usage over the past six months. So you can see this particular account has sent out quite a few emails just this last month, so 626 emails last month. But even with that many, it still didn't put me over the 1,000. So in that case, um, you know, it still wouldn't cost me anything to just stick with the free tier, and um, I would have that just in case, <laughs> just in case I ever go over. But as we scroll down, you can see previous months, I've had very little usage. But the idea here is you can look over and see how many emails you typically send each month, and if you always send well under 1,000, then you know that this package is the way to go. Now, if you normally send, say, 8,000 emails in a month, it would be a better deal for you to go with the light package, in which case you would have 10,000 emails included just for the baseline price, and then any beyond that would also be discounted as compared to the free package. So, there you have it. Um, really not much to the page, not much to Tech Tuesday overall this time around, <laughs> but this is that email package selection and usage page. Now, ultimately, if you do want to select a package and go with that, we just select the package we want. You can see that it shows the total over here, and then we just click Check Out. If you already have a payment profile set up, it will just let you check out. If you don't, you will have to set up a payment profile first, and the system will walk you through that process. So uh, that's all there is to it, to knowing which email package is best for you, and then ultimately selecting it. So as always, thanks a lot for joining me. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to send an email to support at deltagroup.com or give us a call, and we can help you out with this. Um, answer any questions around this that you'd like, and uh, help you out with whatever else you need. So thanks a lot, and I'll see you again next week. <laughs>